All I wanna do is be with you, always be the light things Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're all excited for festivities, you're gonna love today's video as I'm going to share some of my current favorite festive outfits, jewelry, handbags, and much more to make your festive celebrations even more special. I hope you enjoy. Starting with what's probably going to be my Diwali outfit this year, I wanted something that felt really festive but also super comfortable and I found this perfect pink kurta set from the brand Likha. I got this in size medium for a slightly oversized fit so that I feel relaxed and comfortable as I move around all day long decorating the house, meeting people and of course eating all the sweets. I love how this outfit makes me feel both modern and traditional at the same time. I styled it with my light pink motries to keep up with the pink theme and still creating a little bit of contrast. For accessories, I went for these gorgeous statement pearl earrings or baal kuch zada hi gande ho rakhe hai. So, I made a messy sa bun bana liya with fake gajra which by the way smells divine. Anyways, I love the traditional yet effortless vibes so I'm gonna keep the hairstyle for today. And finally, I added the silver tassel clutch which adds just enough glam to my whole look without overpowering it. This set also comes in a stunning yellow as well and honestly, I want that one too but I know I don't need it. So yeah. Anyways, I got the kurta set for just around 2700 which is a total steal for the designer vibe that it's giving me. I'm gonna link everything including the accessories in the description box so do make sure to check that out and now let's move on to my next look. Okay, so the purple obsession really continues this festive season, but how gorgeous is this set, you guys? So this one is from the brand Ahika, and this also comes in six to seven stunning color options. It is made from a silk blend fabric. It feels very rich and luxe, but surprisingly not at all heavy or uncomfortable, even with all of these embroidery and sequin work. The wide, heavily embroidered hems on the palazzos add a royal touch. Now, I got this one inside is medium and it is loose i mean literally everywhere but the final look complete with the heavily embroidered dupatta and accessories is just divine this can be the perfect karva short look gorgeous regal yet extremely comfortable anyways to style it i went with everything pink because pink and purple it's a match made in heaven but since purple is such deep rich tone you want to be a little careful in selecting the accessories to avoid looking too much i went with pale pink accessories from my jutis to these stunning chanbalis and then a pearl and stone embellished stone clutch by nidhirati this set was originally priced at rupees 10000 but can you believe i got this for just around 2100 i mean this is truly fitting the description of Lux on a budget. Now, if you thought that the purple set was festive, this light blue Sharara set from the brand Fusionic is taking things to another level. It is giving me all the royal vibes, like I'm ready to attend a royal wedding in Rajasthan or something. The embroidery on this set is absolutely gorgeous. It is heavy, but not too over the top. Now, I usually shy away from too much embroidery, you know, thinking it might look a bit dated or it might be uncomfortable, but I was in for a surprise with this one. The poly georgette fabric feels super luxurious and despite all the detailing, it glides on the skin like butter. Now give me a big, big dupatta with a set like this and I am sold. For styling, instead of going with gold accessories, I decided to mix things up a bit and I chose a silver tasseled clutch which creates a nice contrast against the muted gold embroidery of the set. Finished the look with my pink juttis and statement silver chanbalis because when you're wearing something this detailed and heavy, you definitely need statement earrings to balance everything out. 
Now I got this set for around 3500 rupees and it is worth every penny and truly an investment piece in any ethnic wardrobe. I'm wearing this in a size small. It is a perfect fit for me and uh, yeah, I absolutely love this. I don't think there is anything more to say about this one. So here is another option from the brand Indus which can be perfect for karva chauth or any festivities or wedding functions really. Now it is not your usual deep red, it is slightly on the orangish side in person but it's gorgeous. I love the unique design with short 3 4 sleeves top with super flared sharara. It is made in chanderi cotton fabric with impeccable thread work and it looks absolutely stunning. I got this one in size medium because uh, small wasn't available and I'm really surprised how well it fits me. I'm glad I did not get my size because this set definitely runs small so keep that in mind in case you're looking to buy it for yourself. Now for styling I styled it with my large pearl earrings and light pink jutis which is barely seen by the way because the sharara is so long but that's what makes the set so stunning. Finish the look with a few gold rings which is like my permanent collection. A gold strap watch which goes really well with all my festive fits and this multicolor metal clutch to tie everything together. I am in love with the dupatta though. The embroidery is impeccable and it is big which to me is a must and it's still very easy to carry around all day long. Got this set for just around 2500 while originally this was priced for around 8400. Couldn't be more happy. All right, let's talk about this next look, which is coincidentally another pink kurta set from the brand Lekha, but a totally different vibe. Now this set caught my eyes because of how beautifully simple the straight fit satin kurta pairs with the flowy floral chiffon dupatta. The contrast is so striking. The kurta is this bright bold pink and the dupatta adds a soft feminine touch with its floral design. The sleeveless kurta with high slits and a sweetheart neckline is super flattering. Plus that sequin embroidery around the neckline adds just the right amount of sparkle without being too much. I went for size small this time and it fits just perfect. It is priced at rupees 2799 which was after a 30% discount and I feel like it's such a steal. Now what I really love about this set is that it's not just festive, it is also very versatile for everyday wear, especially if you are a new bride or a bride-to-be. It is lightweight, it is easy to carry and it gives off that soft, elegant vibe thanks to the chiffon dupatta. For styling, I kept it simple yet chic with my pointy toe gold mules uh, which add a bit of modern touch to the whole look and a pink and white choker. And finally for the bag, I chose this uh, stunning clutch from Accessorize. It is a burst of colors with pink, orange, yellow and blue flower applique detailing but it is still subtle and it does not over overwhelm the outfit. I love how versatile the bag really is. It will work just as well with your western outfit. So it's not just a festive piece. It is one of those accessories that can jazz up any simple outfit. Here is another red number but this time I went for a deep maroon red in this uh, strappy peplum top and sharara set from the brand Sangria. Now for styling I went with the classic red and green combination with this uh, green beaded choker and earring set. Now usually I'd pick either just the earrings or choker but since it's a strappy top with deep neck the set works really great here. But the standout piece is this unique clutch which I just can't get enough of. This is such a great quality and versatile clutch and you can style it with your western as well as with your ethnic outfits. The set also comes with matching dupatta to complete the festive look. Now it is not your best premium quality set but it's lightweight and perfect for those smaller functions like puja at home or even to wear on Diwali morning when you want 
want to feel festive but still want to feel comfortable and stylish while running around the house getting things done. Now it is made in viscose rayon fabric so it is pretty lightweight and the straps are adjustable which is great because the top runs a bit large. I'm wearing it in a size small and I got this for around 1500 rupees and I think at this price point it's a great buy. And last but not the least, if bright colors are not really your vibe, here is an easy breezy option from the brand Indus in off-white with large yet subtle floral prints in soft pink and soft orange. I styled it once again with these uh, stunning pink chanbalis that instantly jazz up this rather simple outfit. And then for the bag, my current favorite, this pink box clutch with pearl and stone embellishments by Nithi Rati. This is going to be a hit this festive season for sure. Now I'm wearing the set in a size small and I got this for just around 1400. It also comes in two other stunning color combinations, a blush pink and a soft blue. I loved the fit. It felt like it was tailor made for me. The fabric is georgette and it is really soft and flowy. And that's a wrap guys, here is a quick roundup of all of the outfits and my favorite festive accessories, whether it is the soft pinks, the rich purple or the regal red, I feel like each one brings something special to the table for the upcoming celebrations. By the way, if you enjoyed the video, do not forget to subscribe and I will see you soon with another fun video. Bye!